you got a boyfriend, Suzanne? No. You're single? Yep. Would you go out with me? Nope. Why? Stick a carrot up your arse! <laughs> Charming language, isn't it? Mickey's 19. He's got learning difficulties and he's looking for a girlfriend. Mickey's not the only one. My name's William and I'm 34. I'm Raymond and I'm 42. I'm Apu and I'm 35 years old. The kind of farm uh, woman I'm looking for is not very nice, very sexy, interesting, enthusiastic, a Bangladeshi girl, a nice tall blonde girl with big boobs. This is a film about the people who are pinning their hopes of finding love on Britain's most extraordinary dating agency. Talking the in the camera. Okay. Let me say something. I just said I decided to have a, a girlfriend. For instance, for example, Apu has autism. Ten months ago, he joined Stars in the Sky, a unique dating agency in North London specifically for people with learning difficulties. <laughs> Stars in the Sky have matched Apu with a Bangladeshi girl on their books. And what's happening on Monday, Apu? I've got a date with her uh, tomorrow, six o'clock in the evening, uh, after my college. And how do you feel about that? Very nice. What is tomorrow going to be? I don't know. Just wait and see. Just a friendship, maybe. Just a... What would you like it to be? Uh, like a relationship. Have you got your date yet? No, I haven't got one. Just me. Just me. I want to give Dad a cuddle. Oh. <laughs> uh. Apu's never shown an interest in girls before, so his dad was surprised to hear he joined a dating agency. Yes, thank you. Don't worry anything. Really, I was not very keen very uh, beginning, but I'm thinking that uh, it might be good uh, if it goes with uh, some girls. The agency Apu belongs to has a radical approach, actively encouraging people with learning difficulties to explore the world of love, sex and relationships. She likes going out, pubs and chocolate, and she wants a tall man with dark skin to have a date in the pub. He likes Indian food. He dislikes spicy food. Mm. What, what, Indian spicy? He dislikes hairbrushes, dog hairs, um, someone who doesn't turn up for a date, swearing, and play, plans changing at the last minute. Pauline and Lolita, who have learning difficulties themselves, set up the agency a year ago. They're assisted in the day-to-day -day running of the company by two support workers. What do you reckon? Christine? Charles? Yeah. The Stars in the Sky matchmaking team have arranged Apu's date for today. Hi. Hi, Apu. Hi. Is this your first date? It's going to be my first date. How do you feel? Oh, very happy. <laughs> Are you nervous? I'll be, off. I'll be all right. Apu's going on a date. Oh. For Apu, like many Stars in the Sky members, having a date is a totally new experience. Matt from the agency is on hand to chaperone the dating couple, but keeps a discreet distance. I've got a pillar in the way, which I thought was very good. Because I don't really want to, I don't want them to feel like I'm watching them. I mean, all the dates I've done have pretty much not been um, in visual contact. To, if, to actually just see that they're still there, you have to occasionally appear around. Apu's date, Tamana, has mild learning difficulties associated with her epilepsy. All right. 
I told Dad about you last Saturday. Yeah. Yeah. What did your dad say? He didn't say anything. He's just uh, sitting down reading his newspaper. Mm -hmm. What do you want your future lady to qualities? Oh, qualities that they have. Uh, I can't remember. I can't remember. I would like my future man to be uh, understandable uh, as well as um, yeah. share our ups and downs. Yeah, share an up and down. Yeah. Yes, thank you. <laughs> I knew you'd agree with me. Oh, I agree. Yeah. Yes, thank you. My granddad, he died in 1946 over, 1946. Di over diabetes. Diabetes? Yeah. Is it cancer? Di no, diabetes. Di I've heard of diabetes yeah. uh, lots of times. And um, my dad's mum passed away after giving childbirth to my yeah, fufu. To my fufu. She went through a complicated pregnancy. Enjoying the date? Yeah, I'm enjoying it. So am I. I'm enjoying it. I'm a bit nervous, but I'm still enjoying it. Would you like to go to the cinema next time? Oh, of course. Why not? Uh, just to enjoy myself. Mm -hmm. I like to enjoy myself. What kind of movies do you like watching? I like uh, to watch uh, King Kong. It's a good film. King Kong? Yeah, it's, it's a scary film. I watched King Kong a long time ago in my own life. Mm -hmm. When it goes longer than five minutes, then it's good. Ten minutes, really good. Twenty minutes, fantastic. So my expectation was the same that I have. All of it, it's like, get the last five minutes, it would be all right. Um, I think it'll be going about half an hour. My dad was asking me today, would you, would you let him speak to your dad over the phone? Yeah, I, I have to, because Dad's got his mobile. Mm -hmm. To him. Yeah. Would your dad like that? He won't mind. Uh, can you do me a favour? Can yeah. you take a good picture of Abdul for my mum and dad? Abdul, yeah. Yeah, I finished my date with Tamana. I, I enjoyed myself. I mean, Tamana gave me a smile. Do you like her? Yeah, I like her. She could give me a smile. We just want to get on with each other. I think your dads and I are going to discuss what happens next. You know, I'm not an expert on Bangladeshi culture. <laughs> I, I presume it's all down to the dads now. Oh,